Okay, let's do some math for fun. And here I have a very interesting question for you guys. Given that the equation square root of x plus square root of 20 minus x is equal to square root of 20 plus 20x minus x squared. So this radical equation has three square roots. But anyway, though, it has a total of four distinct real solutions. And we are going to call them x1, x2, x3, x4. And um, we can just assume that the x1 is the smallest and the x2 is the next smallest and so on. And our goal is just to compute their sum. This question is from the Berkeley Mini Math Tournament in the year of 2021. And you know the deal. Please pause the video and try this first. Done? Cool. I really like this question because we do not have to find out all the solutions and add them up. You could, but of course that would be longer. In the math competition type of situation, you definitely want to think about the best way, the nicest way, the quickest way to solve the question. So let me show you guys how we can possibly do this. Check this out. Inside here we have x, but this right here is 20 minus x. Here we have 20 plus 20x minus x squared. Huh. Notice right here, if we factor on x, then it seems like the inputs are kind of similar, huh? So let's go ahead and make an observation. So OBS, I'm going to keep the first square root of x the same, likewise the next one. But for the third one, let's factor the x. So it's square root of 20 plus x times 20 minus x. So from here, check this out. I'm just going to put 20 minus x to be another variable. I'm just going to use the same notation as that used in the solution. Let y be equal to 20 minus x. And of course, by doing so, we will also have to write the x in terms of y. So we know we can put this there, put that there. So Put this there, put this there, so that means x is equal to 20 minus y. And now, here is where the magic happens. For the first part, we can write this as square root. And for the x, of course, we know that's 20 minus y now. And then next, we have square root of 20 minus x, which is precisely our y. And then continue, we will get square root, and then this is 20 plus the x is that so I will just put this as 20 minus y and lastly this right here is just y this is so nice why because let's look at the structure of this equation you see this input is square root of y yeah this is 20 minus the variable yeah in the square root and we have 20 and then the x or just use y here but like we have 20 minus the variable so what this means is that if x1, let's just you know, use this right here for example, is a solution, right? then we also know that 20 minus x1 is also a solution. A solution. Yeah. I will give you guys a real quick example. For example, zero is a solution. Because if x is equal to zero, this is gone, this is gone, this is gone, square root of 20 is equal to square root of 20. But based on what we said, that means 20 minus zero, which is just 20, it's also a solution because if we put 20 here, put 20 here, that will be gone, that will be gone, square root of 20 is equal to square root of 20. So these are the two solutions, right? But of course, the other two are the harder ones. But I'm doing way though. Right now, what we can do is just say x1 plus x2 plus x3 and x4. For the x3 and x4, I'm just going to use that. And again, um, it really depends on how you want to like write it out more properly, but the question is just asking us to find the sum. So I'm just going to say this is the smallest and this is the next smallest. Yeah, etc. etc. But then 
For this one, I'm just going to say it's 20 minus x2. All right, and then for this one, I'm just going to write here as 20 minus x1. Because in fact, this will be zero, that's the smallest, and this is the biggest. And yeah, that's the same relationship in the middle. Anyway though, you see how this right here is so nice because this, that cancel, this, and that cancel. So the final answer is just 20 plus 20. Done. Yeah. Hey, I hope you liked the video so far. And if you enjoy problem solving and want to learn more, then you should check out our sponsor today, Brilliant. Brilliant is an excellent online learning platform with a big focus on interactive learning. This is from the Algorithm Fundamentals course, which is one of the things I wish to know when I was a student. After going over this course, you will be able to know the methods to measure and compare performance, and you will be able to learn all the fundamental problems in algorithm. I can tell you taking a course from Brilliant is really really fun because they will always keep you engaged by storytelling and beautiful animations. And the best part is, if you use the link in the description, brilliant.org slash blackpenredpen, then you can get 20% off discount. I want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video, and I also want to thank you guys for checking them out. Uh, our first, second, and also uh, the 